from day 76. Playing around, setting up my little uh, studio. I've cleaned up a whole bunch, uh, organized a lot of my art, put it, things away in folders, uh, looking at making a different kind of table while I still don't have my standing table, you know. Um, but then, I need to be able to take reference, and so I'm looking for places to put this on, like the door on the floor, over there on that cupboard thing, hanging over here maybe. There was a lot, a lot of dust on there, I had to clean that up. Uh, so I can take pictures from interesting angles and I'm messing around with the, um, instead of, because usually I take, um, I shoot video, and then I just go through the, um, the frames, I think that's all the most efficient. But I'm also messing around with some of the features on the iPhone, and it's fun. It's fun. But I'm already thinking like, if I am going to take reference shot, I should wear bland clothes so I can see the wrinkles properly and maybe not whatever the hell I'm wearing right now. You know? So yeah, so let's continue. this layout of a six issue run and I'm trying to narrow things down uh, for each character as they're being introduced just to stay on top of the plot and prevent major holes but also making sure that I'm I'm telling the uh, the whole story um, without le well there's probably going to be a, a ton of things uh, left out uh, in a six issue run that I intended, uh, considering where it ends here in issue six. But I need to make sure that, um, well, like I, like I feel like there's not enough space, but I'm trying to delve into it a little bit deeper now to see if I can cram more in as originally intended, you know, within, what is it, six times, 25, 150, 160 pages, more or less. I've just completely moved things around, realizing the, uh, not just the chronological order, as I was just saying, but um, it makes more, like, suddenly I had the thought, well, if this happened, then that must have happened. They must have realized where they actually are. But then this should happen first. And so I started moving all the text around to, to make sure that within the issue, things have a flow to them that, you know, makes sense. Wow, that was a lot of puzzling. That was a lot of mental, uh, you know, putting the jigsaw puzzles that I've been building up over these past couple of months, just moving them around in a way that now makes sense if this is gonna be a story told in six issues. And that's going to be my writing for today, I think. Time to, after working a little bit on the reference shots, like over here, it's time to um, face the rain, possibly. The new flatmate is moving in today. And then usually I have tapas on Sunday, but that's been canceled. Turns out a friend from Valencia is actually in town, like an old colleague. So we're going to have some Belgian beers. Mm. Oh. Welcome to Monday. So, unfortunately, maybe it was the rain, maybe it was something else, but this video didn't upload last night. Like I always leave my, uh, my iPhone on, on to upload to YouTube during the evening, so it doesn't bother anyone taking out bandwidth, but it didn't work. So it's Monday, and that means I did get to see some of the uh, comments left on uh, the, uh, a video from the other day by Thomas Clemens, who's also doing the 100 Days of Making Comics, and Samurai Ox, who should be doing the 100 Days of Making Comics, might be doing it soon, who knows, he's done so many of them. But he's working on his own comic book, I never forgot, you should definitely check out his channel, I'll put some links down below. So the question, or the comment, was after reading the, um, the comic book that you can find, read for yourself in the links down below, the Rough Inks version of my Phosphor Issue 1 that I'm working on right now, um, is about the font. 
So I'm well aware of that. Having decent lettering is important to the enjoyment, or can add definitely increase the enjoyment of reading a comic book. The font I've used was one I found to be kind of basic and suited my needs for this version. Um, I would write on a hand letter because my handwriting is awful and tends to, I always run out of space when I write. But that being said, um, it is a placeholder what you can read right now. And funny thing is when I went out yesterday and showed the comic book uh, on my phone to a friend who's also into comic books who was there, uh, the font was the first thing he pointed out. He's like, you're not actually using this, are you? So I was like, that's like the third person in one day. Oh my God. I also wanted to thank uh, Van Illustration who sent me an email review of my Phosphor Issue 1. Thanks very much. Uh, it's very much appreciated. I'll get back to you later on today because I just read it, so I have to think. But yes, thank you for your input. Anyone else, if you've, uh, if you've read the Issue 1, feel free to uh, either leave a comment down below or send me an email. Uh, that is in the, um, in the PDF at yanimalart at gmail.com. And I'll be talking to you guys a little later on as I get started on the next day of my 100 days of making comics.